hope everyone enjoyed my uh, leg hands from 2016. Uh, the next installment in my Vlogmas series is going to be all about my finances. So first video today is going to be how I think about comps, how I try to use them as intelligently and as efficiently as possible. Today I'm going to use some visual aids. Okay, I have some cash here. You'll see why I have this out in a minute. This key card, I'm at Harris right now. There is a picture of Donald Osmond on the front, if that's his real name. This key card is going to represent two nights in a casino hotel on the Strip. And this food, I have soup that I just bought. And, I mean, I'm putting this in the video because I don't know why you would eat soup without salt and pepper. So, this is going to stay here. This is going to represent a meal. So, say I wanted to get two nights on the Strip and a meal. How do I think about this? Using comps, using cash, using one comp, one cash. How do I think about this and use my comps intelligently? Well, you need to think about what the alternatives are. So two nights on the strip, if you're diamond and don't pay resort fees, is about $20. Harris, Flamingo, Bally's, Rio, not that Rio is technically on the strip, $20. Food on the strip is expensive. There are like weak sandwiches and salads for like 15 to 20. Bobby's Burgers, a burger and fries is over 20. It's tough to find a great deal where you can use your comps on the strip. You might think, oh, I'll go to Bobby's Burgers, I could use comps. Is it an efficient use of your comps? Or is there a much cheaper alternative? That's what you need to think about. So say I'm hellbent on Two Nights at Harris and Bobby's Burgers. Whether I use comps for one, cash for the other, or vice versa, it's gonna be the same. Comps for the hotel room, and then cash at Bobby's Burgers, which is about $20, I'm out $20. I could do the opposite, and I could use my comps at Bobby's Burgers and pay cash for two nights at Harris. Well, that's about $20. Either way, I'm out $20. But I can think about it this way. There is no cheaper alternative to Harris. A motel is more expensive, a hotel is more expensive, an Airbnb is more expensive. This is the best option for two nights. There are cheaper options for the food, though. You can go to Casino Royale and get a hot dog for $3. You can go to McDonald's, very close to Harris, between Casino Royale and Harris, and get, you know, a double cheeseburger for $3. You can go to Panda Express right next to the McDonald's and get the biggest thing they have, one side, three entrees, for like $14. So there are much cheaper options to strip food, even though strip food might seem very enticing because you can use your comps. So say now this represents, I don't know, um, two hot dogs at Casino Royale. That's only going to be $6. So now I can use my comps at Harris. $20 comes off my comp account. And I can get two hot dogs at Casino Royale and only be out $6 cash. That's a much better option. Instead of out $20, because I'm hell bent on Bobby's Burgers, which is inside Harris, I can go to Casino Royale, pay cash. They don't take my comps, but they take cash. I'll only be out $6, and I could save all my comps for the much more efficient casino hotel nights on the strip so basically what it comes down to even though that was a long explanation is if you can use your comps on a hotel do it because there is no cheaper option so in caesar's properties that's what i do harris valley's flamingo rio there's no better option than that than a ten dollar night i mean the better option would be like sleeping on the sidewalk for free that's not a better option it's a cheaper option it's not a better option so if i could ever use my comps for rooms, I do it. I very rarely use my Caesars comps for food anymore. Now at MGM Properties, you can't use your comps on rooms. So at MGM Properties, you have no option but to use it on food, um, even other places. I'm pretty sure at Sahara, you can't use your comps on rooms, only for food. So in those situations, basically what I haven't been doing recently, but I might do next year, as long as it's impossible at Sahara and all MGM Properties, to use your comps on rooms. You have to use it on food. I'm thinking about instead of going to like Posh Burger a lot, which is a very good burger, but it's basic, basically saving it up and using it on like a very fancy extravagant dinner. At Aria, you could go to Lemongrass or a Din Tai Fung or Salt and Ivy upstairs. At Sahara, I'm planning on saving my comps and using it to go to Bizarre Meats. I hear a Business Insider, if they know what they're talking about, um, they call Bizarre Meats the number one restaurant in Las Vegas. So if you could use your comps on a hotel room, do it. There's no cheaper option. If you have to use it on food, either you know use it on food, there's no other choice, 
or if you want to like live it up a little, go to a real fancy place that you probably wouldn't go to otherwise. Yeah, I got, I got it at the stadium.